Right now, we're going to be taking an expert session from the founder of Kenya Blockchain Ladies and the co-founder of ICP Hub East Africa. She's going to be taking us on understanding ICP. So ladies, please let's give a round of applause for Yvonne Kajondu. A round of applause for her. So, uh, as mentioned, my name is Yvonne Kagondu. I am from Nairobi, Kenya, um, East Africa. I don't know if there are any other East Africans here. None? Okay. Ooh, <laughs> there's one here. Okay, um, so I'm the founder of Kenya Blockchain Ladies DAO, and what we do is that at our DAO, we focus on increasing Kenyan women participation. Um, I'm sorry, I've been told I have an accent, so I'll try, I'll try and slow down. So, Kenyan women participation in blockchain and Web3. So, why we do this specifically? Uh, I saw a previous speaker talking about AI, and we do this because when there's an emerging technology, it comes with a lot of opportunities. I'm sure you're aware of that by now. So, when there's when blockchain came into the ecosystem, it came with a lot of, uh, Sarah talked about DeFi, came with a lot of jobs, came with a lot of uh, opportunities for making money. So in Kenya, there wasn't enough, there weren't enough women participating. So, and I was participating for a couple of years. So I created the DAO to increase that participation. So, um, and another, just to, push my agenda. Another thing I noticed while coming here, when I was on the flight to Nigeria, mm -hmm. um, I was seated next to a man and he said, I asked him, where you from? He was Nigerian. And he said, I'm from Doha, that's in Qatar. And he said he is a front-end developer. And he had been sent to Doha because he had been experimenting with AI. So that's, that's some of the things that happen when you actually explore emerging technologies, which is also my encouragement to you. When you, you hear something, a buzzword coming up, it's good to learn, it's good to explore it, because it comes with a lot of opportunities. And today I'm talking about ICP, not the ladies DAO. Um, so other than that, I'm the co-founder of kushiteicp.hub East Africa. And we focus on evangelizing, educating, incubating, and launching blockchain projects, projects products on, in East Africa. We also have a West African hub. Unfortunately, it's run by a man, so he couldn't speak here. And I had to come here. <laughs> so we, but we, he's over there. His name is Chris. Um, we have a booth. And we also have a Twitter campaign. If you come to our booth and take a selfie and then post it on your, on your social media and tag ICP, tag uh, Sahara ICP Hub and Kushite ICP Hub, we'll be giving away some few gifts. And also in the spirit of gift giving, I saw those, that's how it started before I got here. But I want to do a small service that I don't get too deep in the buzzwords, uh, just to understand also my audience. Um, I want to know how many of you are blockchain developers, just by show of hand. Do you have any blockchain developers here? I see one. Um, no other? Oh, I see another. <laughs> okay, we're not that many. Um, but how many of you use like cryptocurrencies on a regular basis? Yeah? Not that many as well? Sarah, you're not doing your job. <laughs> um, but how many of you know cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin? You've heard about it, Ethereum, yeah? At least you, USDT, Binance and the likes. Thank I'm you. not seeing those hands, you guys. <laughs> yeah, so quite a number of you know that. So at least I can say you have like basic knowledge of Web3. Um, there's someone who said they know they are blockchain developer. Um, I just want them to explain uh, what it is in the spirit of gift giving. <laughs> I saw someone raise their hand there and there. Please, if, uh, yeah, please come. To, uh, there's a mic over there just to explain like a five-year-old. That's what it was. Or you can come here, I give you mine. Uh, 
just give us a small explanation what blockchain is. Blockchain is, explaining to a five years old, imagine uh, Naira, we have 1,000, we have 500. Now having, having digital money, digital money is the best way to explain blockchain. Um, we also have tokens. So we can compare tokens to like your coins. We don't have one Naira anymore. We can compare it to that. So we can, my best explanation to a five years old is for, for explaining digital currency is, I mean, for explaining blockchain is digital currency. Then explaining blockchain development is the ability to develop a platform where people can actually um, make payments, buy stuffs like sweets and biscuits <laughs> using <laughs> digital money, <laughs> also called virtual money. Money you can't see, but it's real and it's on your phone or digital gold like um, Bitcoin. That's it. Thank you so much. Being bold, right? <laughs> um, okay, because of time, I wouldn't ask so many questions, but um, blockchain technology is basically the technology underlying cryptocurrencies, underlying Bitcoin. And um, I know this is a, an impressively huge community, and you guys are going to be change makers um, of today and tomorrow. So when you're looking at blockchains that you're going to be building on, because when we are talking about the future of technology, we're talking about AI, we're talking about blockchain and, and cybersecurity and internet of things and all that, you're going to be the ones making the decision. So you're going to be presented with a lot of options and it's good to always be informed on what are the best options that you have. So Internet Computer, uh, we are one of the sponsors of this event and we do that because uh, we believe in women. I, I personally believe in women. That's why in Kenya I champion women participation. And I've, from our organization, we've seen so many women building communities, many women running organizations, just by the fact of being present in, this, in such um, events and the likes. So I believe from this room there are going to be some of you who are going to be building on blockchain, some of you are going to be championing blockchain, some of you are, who are going to get opportunities on blockchain. So I'm going to tell you a bit about the internet computer. So, um, sorry, this is a long, wrong slide. Could you go a bit up? Uh, way up, like really, really up. <laughs> okay, so, so the internet computer is one of the fastest and most efficient and most scalable blockchains in the world. Um, blockchain technology first came, uh, came to you know, existing, existence back in 2009 when Bitcoin was formed. And over time, there have been a lot of developments that have come up. From Bitcoin blockchain, it went to Ethereum blockchain, and Ethereum blockchain allowed us to build applications, decentralized applications on, on top of it. Before, it was just about sending money, sending Bitcoins, and it wasn't very efficient because it was very slow. Um, it was very, like, the, we couldn't really grow with Bitcoin. So someone else came up and said, I want to create a, I want to do more than just sending money. And that was Ethereum. Uh, his name was, the founder is called Vitalik. And so that came up. It's called smart contract technology. So the internet computer is one of the after products that came from that. And what it brought to the table was that it asked the question, we normally ask the question, why, what should we do with blockchain other than just money? I'm sure you've had cryptocurrencies from maybe even scams, maybe Bitcoin, maybe telling you you'll triple your money or something. But there are people like builders, builders ask the question, what else can we do other than just sending and receiving money? So IC is one of the protocols that came about it. And what, the question that we asked was, is the internet really safe? Like, is the internet... Um, centralized. For example, how many of you have, have ever had the experience of you speak something, you're speaking to, something to your friend, like you're saying, I feel like I want to buy a phone or I'm looking for a dress. And then the next thing you see on your phone is an ad. 
<laughs> How many have experienced that? Show of hands. Oh, <laughs> quite a number. I've experienced it. Sometimes, one time, one weird time, I thought of something, then I saw an ad. Weird. So we asked the question, is the internet safe? And the internet computer realized that the internet is not safe because it comes from centralized authorities. It comes from companies like Google, companies like Amazon, companies like Microsoft. All of them come from a centralized body. Bitcoin asked the question, when all our money is coming from central banks, centralized system, is it really working? Because if People, the people who benefit the most from the money coming from centralized system are the ones who are making the most money. What about the ordinary people, the common folk? So we ask the question, is the internet safe for us? And is it centralized? The fact that it's centralized with the big tech companies. So what I see tends to solve is decentralizing the internet. One of the unique features of the internet computer is that um, it's faster. It's faster than, it's relatively faster than all other blockchains. Yes, thank you. <laughs> um, and it's extremely safe and reliable. The reason it's safe and reliable, I know a good number of you are developers, is because well, when you avoid using central points of attack, like, uh, for example, if you're using a cloud storage system or, um, like, in a way, in as much as we see blockchain is decentralized, we've, we've come to find that even blockchain protocols use cloud storage, they use Amazon, they use Jeff Bezos and the likes. It becomes, it makes it very vulnerable because people just attack directly to them on their storage systems. So we found that when we built our own stuff, our own protocols, we became this, one of the safest blockchains available. Another thing is we became greener. That's one of the targets. Right now, it is a huge push with global, global warming happening. We've been actively pushing to become a greener blockchain. Next slide, please. Uh, and also, the thing about blockchain is that it tends to be very expensive when you're building on it. Uh, when it, which is actually opposite, because opposite of what we intend to do in blockchain, because uh, the how economics works is that with increase in demand, the price should increase, right? But if we're only covering one percent of the population, and with every increase, for example, in 2021 we had a bull run, what we call a bull run, that is the price of Bitcoin, Bitcoin went really high and everyone wanted to get it, so prices really increased. So uh, that actually works against blockchains. Most of the time we find that um, when peop more people are getting into blockchains, it's more expensive to do things like do NFTs, make protocols, uh, build decentralized applications. But the IC works in the opposite direction. It uses a reverse gas fees model. Gas fees are basically the fees you pay to just do stuff on the blockchain. Um, and also, blockchain has been limited for a good number of time to be backend. But with the IC, with the internet computer, we've created a technology that allows you to do full stack development on the blockchain. Uh, next slide, please. So, uh, one unique feature, one unique selling point for IC is that you can build your whole website, build your, build your whole DAP, have SEO optimization all on the internet computer. Next slide. Next slide. Um, I mentioned how Google is, uh, not Google, sorry, I noticed that they're here. <laughs> I noticed how, uh, I, I mentioned about how uh, when you log into website, when you think of something, when you talk about something, it usually comes up on an ad. So one of the things that we did, one of the applications that we built uh, to avoid this is called the internet identity. And what is identity? Your identity on the internet is usually what you use to log into websites. For example, have you ever, oh, let me stop asking, but when you log into websites, it usually asks you, log in with Gmail, log in with Facebook. So you have somehow, oh, my time is running out, sorry. So you have somehow created an identity. You can, that's called your internet identity. So what we've done as the internet computer protocol, we've created a means that you can log into websites, log into protocols 
freely access the internet without compromising yourself, without leaking your data. Then that's the power of, of decentralization. So in the interest of time, I'll stop there and uh, please visit our booth to ask any questions that you may have. And thank you so much for your time.